Welcome. This is just a short video on some of the features of Edge Manage, basically a tour of how this thing works. So basically you double click on the icon and it loads all your favorites. So I'm just going to go through the menus. Typically you don't have to do anything to get your favorites to show up, but occasionally you might want to load your favorites from a different location. That's pretty rare. Or load from another application. That's even rarer. But uh, save, yeah. Every time you make changes to, to your favorites, nothing gets saved until you hit this little save menu. So that's kind of an important one. The data menu is all about getting favorites into and out of. So importing or exporting from an HTML file and importing and exporting from Internet Explorer, then of course clearing. Let's just do uh, an export, for example. I'm going to say export. And uh, I'm going to put this thing, I'm just going to put it on the desktop for no particular reason. I'm going to hit the button and ding, out pops a text-based file. The cool part about this is, um, you know, I can actually open this thing like with Notepad and go in and actually, it's just a text file. And you can carry this file with you and, and import into other browsers. Really cool way of doing things. Okay, edit is where the rubber meets the road. This is where you get to do stuff. Like adding a new favorite or a folder or renaming a favorite or a folder or editing the url inside one of these guys uh one of the cool ones is let me just pick one here um let's say i want to do i want to do a create desktop shortcut so you hit the button and ding out pops like a little cool icon that you can now double click on and go to wherever it is you told it to go uh so back to the story here so Occasionally, these little icons little, the, will kind of get messed up. Uh, for example, if you go to Real Edge, um, some, like for example, you may run across a couple of your favorites that don't really have a, a, a well, there's one that does not actually have a real icon. It just has a little star. Kind of The star is kind of like the placeholder. If you run across a couple of those, uh, what you can do is you can right click on the guy and say, you know, just just go out there and go get the icon. So that's what this does. And if there is no icon, you could say, oh, I'll just give you the location of an icon that I know that I want to put there. So you can override their icons. You can delete things. Um, later on, uh, we're going to show a video about how you can kind of manage favorites. In a, but for example, I want to select all these things in this area because I want to like move them or copy them or whatever. It'd be kind of a pain to go through and click all these things, right? So all you have to do is just click on one of the items in that level and then do a right click, check select, and it puts all the little checkbox in there for you. And then you could go in there and say, well, now I want to delete them and boom, now they're all gone. Cool. All right, so that's basically the things you can do with your favorite. So one of the major features is being able to move or copy favorites around. So, for example, let's go into one of these guys, and I want to grab uh, this particular favorite, and I want to move it someplace. Well, I can just drag it. You know, I'm holding the, the, the key down and just going in there and say, oh, I want to put it right there. And so now I have moved that icon, I mean, that favorite from one place to another. Another thing you can do is to copy something. And so instead of just moving it, like from one location to another, I'll, I'm, I'm going to hold the control key down. And it's going to make a copy of that. So holding the control key down when you drop means copy. If you don't hold the control key down, it means to move. Okay. Uh, view. This is the normal view, this tree view. If you're a total geek, you can pop on over and see what's actually going on behind the scenes. I don't recommend it unless you have a need to. But occasionally, uh, you might want to find things that are, have been deleted. So for example... Uh, I'm going to go here and say show deleted items and I'm going to go to that phone uh, place and here's all the things that have been previously deleted. Microsoft Edge keeps them out there for 30 days. So 30 days later you go, you know, I really didn't mean to, to delete that. I want one of those back. So you click on one of these guys and you say undelete and doink, it now is undeleted. I don't normally have this view turned on because it's kind of distracting 
But so normally you would not see deleted items. That's why it shows up in the view thing. Expanding all of your favorites all at once so you can see everything. Uh, getting them all back to the way they were. Um, you know, doing that little doodad where you select them all or you don't select them all, those kinds of things. Um, sorting. So I go in here and I say, I want to sort just this, not the entire thing. So just click on here and say, sort selected folder. And there we go. Or you could go to the and say, look, I, I just want to sort everything. Start at the top and just do it all. That works. Uh, settings, these are kind of straightforward uh, in, the, in the documentation. They talk about every time you make a change to the database, do I also want to make a backup? Yeah, that'd be a good idea. And when you're importing things, uh, do you want them to all be merged together or do you want the new stuff to appear in a separate folder? Kind of cool. Uh, utilities is all about things like backing up the database and restoring and generating icons. So remember I showed you how you can go to click on a particular one and say, I'm going to restore the icon what if you had a gazillion you click on this guy and you just hit the button and just kind of walk off it'll take it you know maybe a minute and it'll go through every single favorite in your entire uh, system find out if it has a valid f icon if it doesn't it's going to go out and get it for you well, that's kind of cool okay and then last the help uh, basically it's just an online help really um, there is a, a, a help but it's just this I mean it's just tiny you know that's all there is uh, the main thing, of course, is uh, the, going out to the web page and seeing you know, the Honest to God Real uh, User's Guide. Okay, lastly, one of the things you can do is check for updates. So if I hit the button here, it, sh it would come back and say, yeah, would you like me to go, you know, yeah, you need one. Do you want it now? And you can say yes, and then it does its thing. Searching for things. Uh, let's say, for example, I want to find the word edge because I don't know where that where that favorite is and so it's just going to roll through and show you all of the searches that match the word edge of course in my case it should be quite a quite a few of these guys and so finally it goes ding to let you know you've got to the end okay that's a whirlwind tour of the edge managed features